peace what's going on everybody it's your boy serrano in today's video we're going to be talking about 16 tips and tricks and hidden features for the google pixel 4a so let's go ahead and begin but if that sounds like something that's interesting to you make sure you join the crew hit the bell icon so you can get notified for all future videos and let's get started okay guys so the first one is going to be a pretty simple tip but it's pretty much to get you started and a lot of the times you might see something really cool going on on social media so maybe it's a video or maybe it's just a picture but what you can do guys is go ahead and take your basic screenshot so in order to do so you just hit the power button and the bottom volume rocker And then when you hold those two buttons, it's gonna give you the option to have your screenshot here. You could share it, or you could even edit it right here as well, or just delete it. But I think that's cool. That's the first tip. Let's jump on to the next tip. Now, another really cool thing that is cool for the Google Pixel 4a is if you wanna actually silence your phone and not get any notifications, like right here, you can see that it's on all the calls and notifications are on but if you wanted to do silence everything on your phone you just touch the power button and volume rocker up right here and it says calls and notifications are now on vibrate all right so the next one is pretty cool because let's say you're talking to your google assistant and you don't want to keep pressing the google assistant button to continue the conversation all you'd have to do to go to this one is go to your apps and notifications, go to assistant and then click continued conversation. So you could you could say um, you could ask Google something. And then when when she answers, you could ask her another question right away. So you don't have to keep asking her and saying the keyword right here. This one is really important if you're somewhere alone, you want people to be able to track where you are or just pretty much be able to get uh, information about you you can go to the emergency information right here where it says emergency info and right here you're gonna enter your you can enter your your medical information any allergies you might have any your blood type stuff like that you can put your emergency contacts like your mother your father your best friend or your spouse and then you can actually show this information when the device is locked so that when someone finds your device and maybe they find you in a, uh, not in an unideal place or something like that they can actually help you out and get you to um, some medical attention and stuff like that cool tip that I find helpful is in this voice recorder option now in this voice recorder option you're gonna see right here that you do have voice recordings so what you want to do is hit this button right here which says voice record and you're, when you click transcript, you're gonna be able to see everything that you're being able to say right here. And you're gonna be able to take notes with the voice transcript so that when you um, actually save it or pause it or stop it, um, you could save it here. And uh, when you go back into it, it's gonna have all your notes there as uh, you know, like as a transcript. So everything that you said will be written out in text and then you can actually copy and paste it and stuff like that and share it which is something that I really find really helpful because now you don't actually have to type out long notes or anything like that. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is if you are in a place that's really noisy and you are unable to hear, or let's say you're just hard of hearing, you can actually go into the sound option on this device right here. And then when you go into live caption, you can actually turn this on and what's gonna happen is if you're, if music is playing or if a video is playing with lyrics in it, or let's just say someone is talking, you're gonna be able to see everything on the screen that the person or whatever's playing is saying. So I think that's pretty cool because that's gonna assist you when you are unable to like actually hear it. Now, another feature that's actually pretty cool is located in settings. And this one is actually cool because a lot of the, this device is actually really small and it's a one-handed device but what's going to actually help you get to all of your um your screen at once let's say you want to pull that notification shade without having to reach to the top 
all you'd have to do is pretty much go into your settings option here go down to system and then when you're in advanced in system you go to gestures and then you're going to click this button right here which says <clears throat> swipe fingerprint to get to your notifications so when you pull down the fingerprint on the back like like i just did it's going to give you that option for your pull down menu and while we're still in this menu i also flip to silence or flip to sh shush and then if you do so desire you can actually um lift to check phone right here so when you lift to check phone just like i'm doing right now wait let me lock that now the phone you can actually lift it and it will display the time and everything on your notification screen all right guys so the next option is in sound so what you want to do is just go back into sound and they have this really cool feature in advance all the way down at the bottom and it's right here called now playing so when you this is automatically turned on off by default but when you turn it on it's going to show songs on the lock screen so it'll show you the song by the particular artist and then you can see it playing and then you can see the history and if you want to have add that um, playing history to your home screen you could just click the yes or no button and you'll be able to track all the songs that were played on your phone all right so this next feature right here is really crazy it's from call screen so all you have to do is just type call screen when you get into settings and you can see how call screen works uh, by typing here but it's gonna the robo calls are declined without interrupting you you can see it hears what callers here and then it'll see you know like uh, the phone number calls from the context are never delayed the and you, you can always <clears throat> the screen you can always screen other incoming calls as well so you just turn that on and that's what those features do but you do get the option right here for automatically screen decline or robo calls which is sick and you should definitely turn that on also automatically screen decline those those uh possible fake numbers and then for first time callers you could let those ring private numbers it gives you the option to sort through as well and then you can choose between like two different voices hi this is the google assistant can i ask what you're calling about so those are the two options but i think that option is really really cool all right, so you may be wondering how to get into that call screen option that I was just talking about. So all you'd have to do is go right here, go to settings, and then go to your spam and call screen, and then just click call screen. But go back right here. And then what I wanna show you is that if you go to calls, you also do get Wi-Fi calling. So you can activate Wi-Fi calling on the Google Pixel, Pixel 4a. And then since I'm using Cricut, it says that Wi-Fi calling with Wi-Fi calling, you can talk and text in places where mobile coverage is limited or unavailable and then just click continue. And then you can agree, enter your information here, but I'm going to just go ahead and skip that option. Now, another really cool feature is if you're listening to headphones, this phone does have the headphone jack right at the top right here, guys. And let's say that's not loud enough for you. Maybe you might desire it to be a little bit louder. You can go right here where it says sound amplifier, guys. Use sound amplifier with headphones to improve how you hear sounds around you. Sound amplifier makes weak sounds louder, making the powerful sounds um, actually louder as well. So once you turn that thing on, guys, it's going to amplify sounds for your own preference. And guys, while we're still in accessibility, there's another cool feature which is making my phone really fast and it's this one right here. You can remove all the animations on the Google uh, phone which will actually speed up your phone and you won't see any animations when you're moving in between the screens. So I do recommend turning that feature on if you wanna speed up your device just a tad bit. Now, another feature I find really helpful is in security, guys. Go into security. Then what you want to do is hit smart lock. Enter your PIN. After you've entered your PIN, you're going to hit on body dis um, detection. Now, click continue. And just keep in mind, guys, 
Um, once you have this on, what's gonna happen is as long as you're in motion and you're holding your vise, it will unlock when you look at it. Okay guys, so the next one we're gonna look for, the tip that I wanna show you is in privacy, guys. It's right here. When you get to the privacy, you wanna to go to advanced. And then right here, you wanna opt out of ads, guys. So let's say that you're getting a ton of ads that you're seeing on personalized. Let's say you just shopped on Amazon and you, you shop for some Bluetooth headphones and you keep seeing an ad appear on Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that. Opt out of personalized ads right here so you won't get those weird personalized ads on your phone. All right, guys, so the next option right here is gonna help you with your storage. So what you wanna do once you see your storage is go here to storage. And guys, you're gonna click it right here. And what we're gonna do is turn on smart storage. When you're connected, you can still access photos and videos at high quality. You select it for backup, but smart storage will actually help you help you um, save data whenever, you, whenever it sees fit. So it will recommend to, you know, remove, um, you know, access files and stuff that you don't need. Now, another really thing that I like about the Google Pixel 4a is it's really customizable, guys. When you go into the display option right here on the Google Pixel 4a, guys, there's going to be something that's really cool called style and wallpapers. And you can see I have um, a colored accent at the top. I have rounded icons, but what you can do guys is create your own customized uh, layout here. So they have default crayon collage. And every time that you click that, it's gonna customize the icon, the color, but what you can do is customize your very own starting with font. So you could choose your own font that you so desire. Let's click this one. You could choose your own icons as well. So let's say you prefer one out of these four. You could click the one that you so desire. Let's say you wanna choose one of these colors. You could choose your accent of your own preference. And then you can choose the icon shape, guys. So right here is really customizable. You can play around with that and you can adjust it and name it. So I could just name this uh, pixel. I'll just type M pixel, that'll be the name of that one. But now you see guys, all my colored accents are gonna be different. They're squared and they're gonna be really different. And so is the font as well. So I think that's a really cool feature if you wanna customize it and make it a little bit different every day. Okay guys, the next one is also gonna be found in display. And this one is actually really cool guys because when you go into your phone right here, as you see right now, you're gonna see that inside of display, there's an option called always on. And what it is is that you can actually keep your screen always on when you click lock screen display. So this is what it is right here. You wanna click always on and it'll let you uh, tap to check phone, tap uh, lift phone right here, new notifications, wake screen when you receive them. And then what's, what's pretty cool is that um, you can add your own name right here to the lock screen. So now let me just show you what that looks like. So now you're gonna lock the screen and you're gonna see that you have everything here. It's always gonna be on. So it's the always on display and everything is pretty much there guys. So it's always gonna be on, it won't go away. And you get your name right here as well on the lock screen. So I definitely think that's pretty cool, but if you wanna turn that off, you can do so, but you will always be able to see the time, date, day and weather plus notifications and more. Okay guys, while we're still in display, click colors because this is gonna give you natural, boosted or adaptive. Uh, I actually like boosted because it makes it a, give it a saturated look and that's what I'm going for because I like those colors bursting out and giving you the highest quality images. When you're in Bluetooth and connected devices, guys, click here for more options. And you're gonna see three things that I think are pretty cool. Number one, NFC for payments. Number two, screencast for um, watching content on a bigger screen, such as a, you know, like a, a monitor or a TV. And the third thing is driving mode right here, which you basically uh, your device uses motion and Bluetooth connections to figure out when you're in a car, driving mode can then be turned on automatically to help you stay connected while driving and limit 
your distraction. So I think that's actually pretty helpful for people who are always in the car and driving as well. All right, but the last and final tip, guys, that I wanna share with you is in the battery options, guys. And this is called adaptive battery. All you have to do is click here, go to your battery options right here and click adaptive battery. And then this will extend battery life based on your phone use. To extend battery life, adaptive battery can be turned off or restrict background activity. So I think that's cool. I always have that turned on as well, but I hope you guys find these quick tips helpful on the Google Pixel 4a, but I'll see you guys on the next video. But in the meantime, make sure you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending where you are, later crew, peace.